charcoal sketch of a bird. Although it sports no colorful plumage, has a raucous cry, dines on garbage, and makes a picnic out of a roadside carcass. The bold, uh, the bold, intelligent, clever crow is worth of great, worthy of great respect for having flourished despite human efforts to decimate its numbers. Like the house sparrow, the common crow is everywhere, along coastlines, mountain tops, in desert, deserts, and even the Arctic regions, possessing an uncanny ability to adapt to any habitat. The reputation it has earned is decidedly mixed. Glorified as a trickster in one place, the all-black raven is feared elsewhere as a bird of ill omen. If a crow calls insistently on your windowsill or balcony, you can prepare for the arrival of a guest. For the mockers of superstitions, it is just a spoiler of sleep. Like the parrot, the crow is an impressive mimic able to whine like a dog, squawk like a hen, or cry like a baby. It shows its playful side sliding down a slippery surface or ha harassing a flock of gulls. It struts like a klutz, fancying it can waltz. Like a monkey, it watches for an opportune moment to ske steal scraps from campers. Crows gather in the hundreds to hold noisy rallies. A congregation raises a parliamentary din, now recognized as a murder of crows. Yet, this pragmatic, even opportunistic bird has an almost sacred personal ethic. Crows maintain loyal, lifelong pair bonds, enduring food, scarcity, and harsh weather to raise the young. They live in close domestic proximity to us. But wary of human intentions, they will not befriend us. Because their ties with us are ageless, they let us eavesdrop on their conference, so we may learn to heed the call of the crow. Thank you.